Wala na tayong pagkain, wala na tayong bigas. Anong kakainin natin ngayon? Ah, ganun ba? Sige, try ko maghanap ng trabaho para mapabili tayo ng pagkain sa araw-araw. Sige. Mga anak, alis mo na ang tatay. Maghanap mo na ako ng trabaho. Sige po tayo, ingat po kayo. Tay, pasalubong ko ah. Ah, sige, sige. Sige, ko. Antay muna natin yung tatay nyo na para makakain tayo. Parang nakakatakot. Sen sana wala akong nahanap na trabaho eh. Paano na to? Ano nang gagawin natin? Wala na tayong pagkain sa araw-araw. Paano na 'yung mga anak natin? Magagawa ako. Eh ginawa ko naman ng lahat pero di pa rin ako natanggap. Ano nang gagawin natin? Alam mo mamuntik na mawala 'yung mga anak natin sa sobrang gutom? Paano na ang hirap ng buhay na to? Di ko to ginusto to. Sawang-sawa na ako sa buhay na to. Kung alam ko lang na magiging ganito 'yung buhay natin, dapat dinala ko sumama sa iyo. Ayoko na mas mabuti pang tigil na natin to. In our country, we are ranked 69 out of the 121 countries in the 2022 Global Hunger Index. We are leveled as moderate with a score of 14.8. Despite of this problem, our country do some action to prevent hunger and poverty. The passage of Republic Act 11037 or the Masustansya Pagkain para sa Batang Pilipino Act of 2018 establishes a comprehensive national feeding program to address malnutrition among Filipino children. Poverty is the inability to afford basic needs, including food, clothing, and housing. But poverty is much more than just a lack of resources. Why is it that hunger is poverty? Simply expressed, it shows that a lack of resources may lead to hunger, poor nutrition, and adequate education etc. Our country suffers from poverty, hunger, and malnutrition, restricted access to essential services like education, social marginalization, and a lack of participation in decision making are some of these symptoms. For the two years in between its reference years, the government is officially applied to the state of poverty. As of now, March 2023, the government's latest poverty rate is 30.2% of families. Its criterion is a threshold income of 12,030 pesos per month for a family of five in 2021. The best way to solve this hunger and poverty problem is to help our fellow Filipinos such as farmers and agriculturists. Help them by giving them more equipment that surely well for improving our basic needs such as rice, meat, and others. Poverty is the greatest cause of hunger. Hunger is one of the extreme effects of poverty in the Philippines. But there is enough food in the Philippines' local production and import. I've seen to it that the country is amply supplied with food and it can be readily purchased anywhere you go in the country. Unfortunately, not all people can buy the food that they need. Hunger is reality in the Philippines. Food is one of the basic needs of human beings to survive. All of us depends on food for having a good health. Therefore, with a lack of food, many people will be starving and malnourished. World hunger will be one of the most serious problems that the humanity will be facing if we'll continue to ignore it. When there is lack of production in food, it will result to starvation and famine if, if it gets worse. Poverty drives hunger. Always remember that. Hunger means not having the food you need to meet your energy needs, but people in poverty face a web of food-related issues including malnutrition, obesity, and stunting. Hunger is a problem that the most often affects low-income families because living in poverty means that people are often going without basic needs, such as food, clothing, and adequate shelter. Poverty here in the Philippines is prevalent even in some countries in the world. 
Poverty and hunger causes many people to lose their lives and their hopes in life. Many reasons why people became poor or hungry and doesn't have enough money to buy something they needed is because they don't take opportunity or they lose their hopes for themselves. To have a good life and to have the food to feed their, to themselves and to their children. Poverty is something that we create ourselves. There is a lot of opportunity out there but it is our choice that makes us what we are right now. It is our life choices that put us where we are right now. People became poor and hungry because of their laziness to have a better life. Here in the Philippines, government have its local agencies that support the poorest of the poor, like corpies and local government like SK Chairman have a feeding program, but still not enough to resolve the same situation. I think we, as a citizen, should also help our government to resolve the one of the biggest issues that our country is facing up to these days. Everyone can help by following the family planning and birth control, especially to those families that don't have a stable job and are capable to raise a child in a very bright way. Some of us, we can help community organizations to set some programs like feeding program and anti malnourish program to the kids and adults. Encourage everyone to be wise and be thrifty. Eat all you can and don't waste some.